I love Mr. Valdez. Hey, Mr. Tyler. Hello, Mr. Gray. Hey, Mr. Tyler, I'm kind of uh, cleaning up, so if I don't answer, that's because I'm cleaning up. Darren? I heard you. Okay. You, you, wait, a say it again, because I had to pause this radio. What did you say now? I said uh, I'm, I'm, clean, I'm cleaning up. Let me see. Let me show you. <laughs> He's so I'm cleaning up. up. Okay. Yeah, you got three minutes to get ready for class. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I got my headphones in, so like, if you ask me any questions, I, I'm right here. So, okay, okay. Hey, Leah. Mr. Tyler, what are you listening to? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Miller. <laughs> Some jazz. Uh, right. Hey, Mr. Tyler, I'm finna go to the bathroom real quick. All right, hurry on back. We're about to get started. All right. 
right, so let's see here. Class is officially started. Four more minutes before we get uh, going. This is for latecomers. I'm just going to do attendance real quick. So just uh, get your screens ready. We have a lot to do, the substitution method, on today because tomorrow for robotic students, it's a catch-up day. So people like Ms. Kennard or people that are caught up, it's going to be an easy day for you. Uh, this is Ms. Light, too. One sec. Okay. I think it let her in. Okay, look at this going. So the moment Sinkara will be joining us. Uh, so about three more minutes, uh, take a quick bathroom break, like the other gentleman just said, or get your drink of water. But make sure you're logging to ESV and your Google Docs. So we're going to be going through. Some students are veteran students, and they know to use Math Papa to calculate this, but you have to follow my directions today. Welcome to class, Mr. Stuckey. <laughs> nice background, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daje Moore. We're like twins in the class today. <laughs> okay, so Daje. Okay, I think that. All right, so I'm about to do attendance. Everybody, the timer is for when we begin our norms and our assignment. So please set your screens up. I'm gonna, if I call your name, it's not to say you need to speak. It's just because I'm trying to do attendance. So give me a moment. Uh, Miss Archie is absent. Khalees Bailey, absent. Uh, Latrell Champagne, absent. Jamar Davis, absent. Shamar Davis, absent. Courtney Dixon, absent. Edward Dooling, absent. Uh, Joshua Garcia, I don't see him, absent. Um, come on, scroll down. It's not doing it. Okay. Uh, let's see who else. Dajay Moore and Aaliyah Mims, they're present. Mark that. Okay. I got Miller, right? And Sinkaira's here and Kennard's here. Autumn Hall? Nope. Sherrod Perry? That's a no. Royale Smith? Nope. Jalen Stuckey is present. <laughs> he has the, the cool astrophysics background. Uh, Valencia Martin absent and Journey Walls is absent. That's the roll call so far. In uh, about less than two minutes, we're going to begin with uh, the notes and what you need to handle homework problem. All right, so bear in mind, everybody, just as a reminder, I'm going to keep saying it throughout this because nobody knows this. For some reason, I've said it, but y'all don't listen to me. Um, Thursdays for robotic students only, there are asynchronous days. You, you treat these like your office hours. You come in here. Uh, Ms. Tyler, I couldn't turn this in. I'm going to be there to help you out. I'm not going to be here teaching the whole time, but I will be asking you to share your screen because if you're in class, I need to make sure you're doing work in class and you're not just there. So uh, use your days wisely. Every Thursday is asynchronous days, and that's for robotic students. It's so one minute and then everybody else is absent. All teachers, by the way, have what is called asynchronous days, so you need to um, ask your teachers, uh, what day do we do asynchronous work? So they, because, you know, we're human. They might think it's a regular instruction day, and you might be correct asking them, is this an asynchronous day? Because if it is, they're supposed to switch to showing you how to get stuff done that you didn't understand, right? This is to help you pass. So I hope you remember that. Like if the one day you don't come to class, you better make sure it's not the asynchronous day. It's the day you come there and try to finish anything you're missing. This is for all students that are falling behind. All right, so a couple more seconds. Let me uh, save the attendance because that looks like everybody that's going to be here. And now that we got good attendance, we can start doing uh, collaborative group work. If everybody keeps coming to class, let me stop this. I can start putting you guys in breakout rooms where you can work on certain tasks. This, if you are successful and you work in your teams, will allow you to get out of Friday quizzes. So Fridays will change from assessment Fridays or quiz Fridays to group work Fridays. But that's if you guys can learn to work together. So we'll see how it goes. And if everybody comes to class on time, because you will be graded on if your teammate is helping you out or not, training you for the real world. Okay, so let's. Uh, I, I put up here on the screen, if you can see, the agenda, which is the objective. And also, you have... Um, the classroom term of the day and the word of the day, novel. 
So uh, those two parts, the definitions to those two words, get you 25 points towards your exit slip. All right, so let's get into what we have to do at Camelot Excel Academy of Southwest, our norms. We have five basic ones and we have five academic ones. Both show you how you're being held accountable here at this campus. All right, so let's uh, do this. I saved the attendance, yes I did, okay. All right, so we're gonna go down the list and it's alphabetized by first name. I already, uh, she already knows who I'm about to call because her name always comes up every day and that's that's Google, Aaliyah, if you, you wonder it, I didn't do that. So the five basic norms, Aaliyah, I need you to read number one. No one has the right to hurt another person. Thank you, ma'am. Alexis, number two. Education in the classroom are sacred. Thank you. Miss Moore, number three. Dajay, are you there? We will never behave in a way to discredit ourselves, our school, our family. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, next up is Mr. Miller. Can you read number four? Mr. Miller, are you there? Your microphone's cut off. I guess I gotta come back to him. Jalen, can you do number four instead? Uh, so Cam Southwest is always a lady or gym. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Gray, can you read number five? Do you hear me in your headphones? Yep. We take five and the same Cam Southwest. Thank you, sir. All right, moving on to our five academic norms. Let's get this out the way, you guys. Because it's the end of the day, right? So number one, that would bring up Miss Kennard. Can you read that? We respect the opinions of others. Thank you, ma'am. Miss Laitu, one of the Bulldogs. Can you read number two? Is she there? Uh oh. Uh, she's not there. So I gotta move on to Looks like Mr. Perry, welcome to class. Can you read number two? So he's still fixing his microphone and stuff, I guess. Uh, Sherrod? Respect the culture of the classroom. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Uh, Miss Mims, can you read? Oh, hold on, hold on. Miss Hall, welcome to class. Can you read number three? We are attentive and participate. Thank you, and welcome to class again. Uh, going back to Aaliyah, can you read number four? We have high expectations for ourselves, our peers, and our teachers. Yes, we do. Thank you, lady. Uh, so, Alexis, can you finish it off with number five? <laughs> we are here to focus on preparing ourselves for post-secondary endeavors. Thank you. All right, so everybody got participation points, it seems like, so far, because they, you know, Seems like your microphones are working, your cameras are working. That's a good thing. Uh, now I need you to take a moment and get your screen sized up so you can get ready to do today's assignment. All right. We have a lot to do. This is a lot of math. So for my math nerds, don't worry about it. For people, everybody else, I'm going to do most of the work. All right. Do not use Math Papa because I want to take you through the steps. In about two weeks, you're going to use Math Papa to do our calculations. Those students that have me already know what I'm talking about. All right, so with that said, uh, set your screens up. I'm gonna take a moment and redo attendance because we had a few students walk in here just now. So again, Archie is not present. Bailey is not present. Champagne is not present. Jamar Davis not present. Shamar is not present. Courtney Dixon, uh, don't see him, not present. Edward Dooley, not present. Mr. Garcia, not present. Gray is present. Miss Hall is present. Make a note of that. Uh, keep going. Kennard is present. Lightu is present. Miller is present. Aaliyah Mims. I gotta check on Lightu. Aaliyah Mims is uh, present. Dajay Moore present. Sherrod Perry has arrived. Uh, Royale Smith absent. Jalen Stuckey present. Alexis Valdez present. Uh, who am I missing? And Jer uh, Valencia Martin, or Martine Valencia, absent. Journey Walls, absent. And that is the roll call.
Okay, so let's get into today's assignment, everybody. And the policy here at you know CPS, <laughs> they they pretty much govern Camelot. So when we get done with recordings, or parents want to know, these recordings are available to them. So please keep it clean, keep it cool. Don't you know you're being recorded, and there's no argument when you have recordings. And for the time being, you have to while you're in class, you have to keep your cameras on and be attentive and participating. That is really key, or you will be ejected. If I call your name more than three times, and I give you a little time to get back, I will eject you, and then I will pretty much forward your name to Mr. Borders or anybody in the uh, get back crew, I, I call them, or the they, they will get back to you, and I will be talking to you about what you did wrong and why you got ejected. Okay, so just make it easy, pay attention. We're only here for an hour, and get the work done. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to minimize this. We did our norms. So the first thing is first, you're going to be logged into Edsby, and you're in your fifth period uh, you know, engineering class. So I'm going to scroll down, and this is the link for Townhouse. I keep stressing to you guys, there are opportunities I'm talking about for jobs, $20 an hour. Uh, chess, I would like to get that off the ground. Um, internships or apprenticeships, I think Mr. Valdez and Mr. Carson, a few people have taken advantage of these things. All right. So you can't know about them unless you're in townhouse or GGI. So please, 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 if you need resources, if you need uh, to know what opportunities are out there, get up early and get in townhouse and come to GGI because I even give extra credit for the students I see in those uh, sessions. All right. So let's scroll down in Edsby, right? What do we have first? So I'm going to graph from the chat. I'm graph from Edsby. You, if you're looking for what I'm doing, you want to get into Edsby. I told you to log in, right? Go into ESV and find today's assignment. It is dated November, oh, I'm sorry, November, goodness. December 2nd, we've left November already. All right, so I'm put this in the chat and I'm gonna see who just got here. Let's try to get some points on the scales. Ms. Hall, can you read uh, what's in the chat there? Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Can you see it? Hello, all future electrical engineers. Complete the following questions below. No synchronous problems are done in class. Asynchronous problems are completed at home. Solve for the order pair X and Y using the systems of equations via substitution method. Okay. What? Yeah. Go ahead. You, you keep going. Equation. One is 24 over 2x minus 20 divided by 2y equals 18. Equation 2 is 512 divided by 2x plus 30 divided by 2y equals negative 12 divided by 2. Thank you, ma'am. And that's a negative right there before that 512, everybody. Okay. So, uh, Autumn, you got 30 points for reading that. Appreciate you. The next part. Because I want to make sure we are clear on what you have to do today. I try to explain this, but I know not everybody likes to read all that stuff, right? That's what students say. I'm not, you're doing too much. I'm not reading all that. Well, how you expect to pass? So <laughs> here's the next part. Uh, I'm going to call on Mr. Perry to read what's in the chat now. And this is for uh, 30 points if he responds. But right now, I'm looking at a blue screen. So, Mr. Perry, are you there, or should we talk tomorrow? Mr. Perry, are you there? Okay, I'm going to move on. Uh, Rush, I'm going to forward your uh, Mr. Perry to you. What'd you say, uh, what'd you, what'd you say Tyler? Uh, uh, Perry took too long to respond. I might have to eject him. All right. Uh, follow up with him, please. All right. Uh, oh, there you go, right there. I'm right. What are you talking oh. about? Oh, okay. Mr. Perry, Mr. Perry, that's your final warning. I'll let you know, okay? So I need you to turn off your music and focus on class right now. Otherwise, you will be ejected and they will follow up with you. So the next student, because we can't keep doing this, y'all. Dajay, can you read what's in the chat for us? I can read. Oh, go ahead, Valdez. I'm sorry. Please remember to get maximum credit. All calculations and steps for the final answers to the problem need to be uploaded to Edsby. 
via the same format that we have been using since the start of the quarter. This nice. format is shown in video, typed Google Doc, converted to PDF. Stay safe out there and send. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So I was I was not trying to cut you off, but I wanted to talk about that part, right? It has to be put in PDF. You guys have to insert it into ESB. There are students sharing their documents. There are students emailing me their documents. Please don't do that. It's not going into the gray book. It's going into outer space, like the background I have. So please do it correctly. Don't come with the arguments. You're just going to end up having to see me again, OK? So let's get this started. Uh, the problem. And when I call you guys, you got about a 30 second window. So please respond. I'm not being evil, but I will remove you. And then we'll just follow up with your parents and yourself. So please, please turn off the distractions, focus, because we're watching what you're doing. All right. Now, you want to be logged into Google, right? So we're going to go to Google Docs. And you open a blank document, everybody. We've been doing this since the beginning of the quarter, so this shouldn't nothing else should be you know crazy or scary, right? So open up. I think Mr. Porter's arrived. Yes, sir. Okay. He looked like he was here. It just popped across my screen. He is here. Borders, did you need me to turn on the chat? Or he left me. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, anyway, um, so we got to name the document. He would be sneaking in my room. Like I see that. Uh, do now. And today's date, right? So the 2nd of December we're in, 2020. And give it a header. This is like your signature line. 2nd, you're going to put the date again, of December 2012. Period. I'm typing it, so I expect you to type it with me. Okay, I don't want to hear, I, I went to go and make me a sandwich. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to give you a fat zero because... You knew you were in class, and you, you decided to do something else. That's on you, right? Take the L. But please, please try to finish. So fifth, and then intro to engineering with robotics. Now listen, I know there's some people that are pretty smart out there. Do not use Math Papa to do it. Because when a lot of you guys came in, it was later on, and we was using Math Papa as a way to show you why we had to do it. Now we're in the beginning stages of substitution method. I want you to do the steps that I am doing, and I will be grading you accordingly. So I don't know if you cheat, and I don't know if it's wrong. You can use Math Papa right now. Let me premise that to check your answer, see if you got it right before I, I you know, showed everybody what to do. But <laughs> either way, you got to have the same answer with all the steps shown. Okay, want to let that be known. Some people are gonna probably pop it in Math Papa and put. Mm, you can't do that yet. We're starting at the beginning. Right, beginning of the quarter, and midterms are coming out uh, December 11th. Everybody, in case you were wondering, so be be prepared. Everything you're learning, you're gonna have one big uh, midterm exam <laughs> on December 11th. So I hope you're listening. Okay, so enough about that. For 15 points, I want to make sure that it wasn't showing. For 15 points, who can tell me what today's title is? You can raise your hand. I know the chat is off. And uh, Daje, and then Perry. Okay, and then Aaliyah. Okay, so a first person up was uh, Daje. So let's see if Daje gets it right. If not, the rest of you can try it. Daje, Daje what do you think? For the order of pairs, linear equations. <laughs> she got it, y'all. All right. So that's 15 points awarded to Miss Moore. All right. So let me type it in. It is solve four. And uh, so Perry and Mims, I'm going to give you guys about five points each because you try it. Uh oh, Kennard left. Uh, but Daje, uh, lower your hand. You still got your hand raised. And the same thing with Perry. Lower your hand. <laughs> okay. He'll lower his hand when he's ready, I guess. Uh, so, solve for, and if you wonder where they got that from, go to Edsby. So, it's solve for the order pair, right? Just type it in. You want to center it. I see a lot of students are not doing it exactly as I do it. I, the reason I have you do it is because you're, mic you're making professional reports. So do it the way I do it. Don't have it, you know, don't cut corners. I keep saying that. I say it to my son daily. You're going to put this in the center. A lot of students are not centering their title. Yes, I'm that petty. If I see that, I'm shaving off five points. Do it correctly. <laughs> and if you didn't, I'm going to think you was doing something else, which is why I'm taking points off. Exit slip. 
and that's composed of the classroom term of the day, right? And the word of the day, right? So the word of the day, I think, if I remember, where's my notes at? I could I could pull it up. I think novel. it's novel. Thank you, Sinkaira. Ten points. Thanks for the save. I was looking at my notes, like trying to find it. And the classroom term of the day, I think uh, Daje said it a moment ago. It's in the brackets. Right? It's linear right. equation. Linear. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Alexis. Five points in Kyra 10. Nice job. He tried, but she was quick. Linear equations. Very good. Next, we need our questions, right? And these are the two, that's the 1S and the 2S. Now, I made an error there because it's 2A, actually. It's the homework problem. So let's grab that. And I think a student already read what that problem was. I think that was Autumn. So let me grab this. And I'm just grabbing this from Edsby, everybody. So you should be doing the same thing. If you have a mouse, I keep telling you guys to invest in one. You could do this like very clinically or surgically. Let me grab this slowly. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna copy this over to my document from Edsby. So that's why I say I have two screens open, right? Be on a laptop or a computer, not a cell phone. All right, so we're gonna grab a second one. So Mr. Tyler, so physics and engineering, that's the same thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to tell you that, bro. Yeah. Well, uh, engineering is the advanced levels of physics. You said that's an advanced level. Yeah. So it's like if you want to go, do you know how many engineers there are? So you got your uh, uh, aerospace engineer, chemical engineer, electrical engineer, civil engineer, mechanical engineer. You want me to keep going? No. Please, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I was, just, I was just asking. I was just, so you know. What's the difference from the music engineer? There's spe the special, you said music engineer? Yeah, like, you know, the people that control the boards and all that, because, you know, they got all because the they boards do, and that. They do, they, 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 you was in my computer science, right, sir? So right. they do pretty much the programming of this music that you're listening to. You guys be rocking out, right. Chief Keep, whomever, they're the in music <laughs> engineer doing computer science in the background to make the music that you like. Did you know that? Wow. All right, did. let me finish this problem off. We got a lot to do, y'all. Right. So engineers are very important people, eh? All right, let's keep going. I'm taking the second problem and putting it here. All right, now we can work on the first problem. This is actually 2A, everybody, so make that correction. I was telling you, this is a homework problem. So we're going to do the in-class problem, that's 1S. And 1S uses what is called linear equations or system of equations. That's one of your definitions you got to look up, right? All right, so let's jump into it, and then we're going to go back to the objective, because I talked about it, but I want to remind you of what we're doing. There's a question. Oh, Stonewall. Go ahead. No. Is Alexis available for our testing? Alexis is really sharp. He can do this. Go do, go do your testing, Alexis. I want to know where you're at. Yeah. I'm I'll turn on the chat, Stonewall, real quick for you. Okay, thank you. You can just pop the link in there for them. And uh, and again, guys, take this star testing seriously. Like y'all tell me I don't understand. It's because there's certain things with reading and math that we got to discuss and get your tutoring for. We can't do that if you guys are not taking it seriously. Okay? No one can help you if you don't help yourself first. I'm just going to say that. So take this test seriously. Don't just click ABC. Take that test seriously. All right, All right Alexa. Meet me in that uh, link right now. Thank you, no problem. Because they, they do give us that information back, and that's how we can help you. But if you're not taking it as serious as you play those video games or whatever you're doing, it's hard to help you. Hey, okay, hey, so yes. Can you, can you go up a little bit so I can see what you got? Uh, Sure. So this is all I have so far. You see it? That was Miller. Yep, I got it. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, so let me jump into this problem. The first thing you want to do, the very first thing you want to do is remove, I know students, all, even my son, have issues with fractions. So the first thing you want to do is reduce all fractions, all right? So let's type that in. First, 
reduce all actions. Now, I would go step by step by step with this. But I know you guys have had class all day. So how many people want me to go through all the steps with you today and then explain it on Thursday? Or do you want me to give you the notes and then we talk about it on Thursday? It's your choice which one. Oh, uh, uh, on the way. What you what you mean? Because you guys are the fifth period of uh, robotics students. And I already yeah. got the notes. I could just yeah. give you the notes and then y'all could try out the homework problem. Or if you want me to, I can slow down. And well, go I don't everything. really care what you do because I'm done with both of my problems already. Uh, let's go, go over it. Go over it. Go over it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we got some new students, Dajay. So you just wait until share out and then you'll be a leave maybe a little bit early with your in class points. Okay. Just be patient. I can leave early too. Ali, if you have it done correctly. Yeah. Okay, well, you got to wait till share outs. So it's going to be 3 30, all right? That's the best I can do for y'all because CPS is not going to let me leave, let y'all leave early, early. <laughs> okay, so all right, I'm going to go through it because their students say they need to know what's happening there. So let's go through it, and this is good because it's going to be a video that's released around four. You can review it until you get the hang of it because you got to test on this on Friday, everybody. Okay, so what do we do first? Reduce all fractions, right? So first equation, grab this. I'll put this here, right? Now we're going to reduce it. So you just got to look at the fractions and divide. That's all you do when you reduce. So when we divide this out, what is 24 divided by 2? Anybody know? It's five points if you can tell me. Do you see Raise your hand. Break. Okay, so you didn't raise your hand, but go ahead, Aaliyah. 24 divided by 2. <laughs> if you, Yeah, thank you, Aaliyah. So 24 divided by 2 is what? Nobody? 12. Miller raised his hand. 12. Huh? 12. He gets it. Lee, took too long. What happened? So next one. Let's see if somebody else gets the five points. What is 20 divided by 2? Yeah. Raise your hand. Oh, that's Aaliyah. Okay. 10. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. you late, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Them headphones ain't working. All right. And then you're going to raise your hand late, too. Lower your hand, fam. All right. So, <laughs> equation two. Here's another opportunity. Let's see who's paying attention. We're just reducing fractions. Okay. So, I'm going to bring this over here again. And I want people to tell me one by one what it is. So, this is negative 512 divided by two. What could that be? Negative 256. Oh, I'm Nine. sorry. Dajay. Okay, yeah, thank you, Daje. You're right, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, raise your hand, people. I'm trying to look and see who gets the points first now. What is 30 divided by 2? Who know? Okay, <laughs> Leah, you first, then Daje. Leah, you better get it right because Daje is on your butt. Huh? 15. Okay. Because <laughs> she got her hand up about the same time as you. So 15 Y, right? Last one for five points. Who could <laughs> Daje, go ahead. And negative six. I need to answer the question yet. All right. Okay. So let's keep going, y'all. I got some math nerds in here. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, next, what we want to do is we want to choose which equation we're going to work with. Okay. So next is choose which, I'm going to type it out for you, which of the following equations, I could use that Google, thank you, you want to work with. You got to choose one or the other. So equation one, equation two, and you're going to choose the reduced version. So let me say that. Choose which of the following reduced, so you don't get confused, equations you want to work with. And then after you do that, next, solve for x or y. So choose which variable, which is x or y, you want to solve for via algebra. So this is, again, an exercise of your algebra skills. Engineers are very good. If they're pretty good at calculus, they're, they're very awesome in algebra. I've seen this, and that includes myself. I'm, I'm good at a lot of things. So look, we're going to take which equation? Well, if you were me, I see that the numbers in equation one, when they reduce, are smaller. So start there. OK, so I'm going to choose equation one. Grab this. You could have chose equation two, but I just chose equation one because it's got smaller numbers, right? Now, I'm going to take this and 
you want you want to choose what you want to solve for. So I know a lot of students they like solving for x. They could solve for y, but as long as you get the same answer, you're good. So I'm going to say in this case solve for x because I know a lot of students like me and solve for x. I don't know what to do with y. You know, they get a little confused. So, all right, let's solve for x here, right? Well, the first thing I want to do is get rid of this negative 10y because I want to put it on the other side of the equation. So all I got to do is just add 10y to both sides. It's the reverse operation of algebra, which you do to one side, you do to the other. So I know I'm a negative 10y is there. I want to get that over there to the other side of the equation so I can work on uh, what's next to my x. So that's going to be, you know, the same thing here, 10y, right? What you do to one side, and I'm going to color code it so you know the changes from one equation to the next. Okay. And what you do to one side, you got to do to the other. I got to bring this over here as well on the other side of the equal sign. Okay. So let's come down. What clean, what, what, what does this become? Well, some things will cross out, right? Here's what crosses out. This part. Your format and I'm gonna strike it out and you have to do these things I'm gonna put it in the chat before you ask me yes but you still have to make it look the same as mine so that's the hardest part of this class for a lot of you guys making the document look the same and because you can't copy and paste you gotta do some work you raise your hand Leah I was asking can you put the word of the day in the chat oh, sure. a second let me clean this up for you guys okay, so that is what happens after that step right and then Aaliyah wants this. Don't forget, everybody, you need the definitions of these. Y'all be putting it in the uh, the document, and you don't have the definitions. And I'm like, I can't help you. OK, here you go. So Aaliyah, you see that there? Did that help or no? I see it. OK. All right, so we still got to get x by itself, everybody. So let's do that. Now, you see it's 12x. That means 12 times x. It could be 12 times z, 12 times v, whatever. It's a variable. So since it's times, it's a product, and the reverse operation in mathematics is division when you're doing multiplication. Okay? So let's do that. I'm going to take this over here, and I'm going to group this in parentheses because I want to divide everything by something I don't want there, which is, of course, the 12. And I'm putting in red the changes from step to step for you guys. I'll clean it up in a moment. Okay, and then you're going to divide by 12 here, right? Don't forget what you do to one side, you do to the other. But this is unique because everything on this side of the equation is going to be divided by 12. So we got some more fractions to reduce. So all, all of this in parentheses, and it's going to be divided by 12. Here's the changes. Hey, hey, wait a second, Mr. Tyler. Wait a second. You're going yes, too sir. fast. <laughs> I don't know I'm going too fast, but all right, you need me to slow down for a second? Yeah, just for a little second. Wait a second. Yeah, okay, okay. All right. Uh, how about I put a timer up because I was trying to let you guys go a little early. It's 3.14. We still got a little more to go. And I want to give you the notes if we run out of time. But uh, it's a lot more steps to go, so I'll give you two minutes to catch up. Yeah, I got it the way I wanted it to. There it goes better. There we go. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm ready for the next step when y'all are ready. I'll put a minute up here. You're going too fast. Yes, us engineers do that sometimes. And tell me when you get a little lost in the sauce. It's 3.15. Um, we get out of here at 340, so I think we can finish this in time. Oh, and by the way, let me put what I have in the chat so it'll probably help you guys a little further. I know you're typing. All I really need you to do is just edit the same. 
So to help you out, I can put it in here so you can keep up. And that, that's what I've done so far. Also, the chat transcripts, everybody, will be available by, uh, I want to say, 4.30. So you can go back through the chat and see the stuff I've shared with you guys to get this stuff done by 8 p.m. tonight. Okay, I slowed down as much as I could. Now, uh, you, you got a unique situation here. 12 divided by 12 is 1. That's what's happening over here. So this crosses out. And again, it, if you can just get the notes, uh, I don't want to lose anybody. If you can just get the notes on Thursdays, tomorrow, we are going to do asynchronous. So if you got confused about this, even after you got the notes, that's the day. Like, Tyler, can you go over this again? I don't understand this part. That's the day. Thursdays is your asynchronous day. It's office hours, basically. <clears throat> so cross this part out as well. So we got a new equation now. But before we do that, understand that this is now becoming 10y over 12 and 18 over 12. Let's change that, right? Because that 12 divides into both of those. Oh. And I'll, I'll put it in the chat. So that, that's your new situation over there. That changed too. All right, let's clean it up and then get ready to do substitution method. We just, all we did is a bunch of algebra to solve for X. And you'll see it right here. X is now by itself. I'm going to highlight this because you're going to need this in the next steps. You're going to substitute this into the next equation, basically. Okay, so now next strategy is what? Next, substitute the partial solution for x, which is what I'm talking about above, what we just did, into equation or the reduced equation 2. What do I mean by that? I'm going to come here. I'm going to grab this, what we did earlier, this reduced version. Let's grab that. Put that here. And what's going to happen is we're going to substitute in, meaning we're going to insert inside of X what we just found. That's all substitution method means. A powerful tool in computer science and engineering, this mathematical method. Okay, so I'm going to grab this. I'm going to leave it highlighted so you can see what got inserted or substituted in. This inside of this X here for equation two. Okay. So now what? Well, we got to take this and, you know, do some simplification. That's going to be 256, negative 256, multiplied by, uh, we, didn't, we should have just already divided these out, right? So let me make it easier on you. So 18, right, divided by 12 is going to be what? Then 18 divided by 12 here, we can put it here. It's like, let's see what it is. Use Google to do it. So if I put 256, let's, fir let's first figure out what that is, right? So... I'm going to rewrite it so it's easier on you guys. So let's do 18 divided by 12 first. I put equal sign. That's how you turn Google into a calculator if you didn't know. Equal sign, 18 divided by 12. And it gives me this negative, uh, I'm sorry, not negative, but 1.5. So let's do that. So this will become 1.5. 
and then 10 divided by 12. And don't forget y is attached to that. So what is that? We'll just say equal sign 10 divided by 12. That comes to 0 0.8333. We just gonna put 83. And don't forget why. Okay, looks even better now. Okay, so let's continue on. We have another iteration where we multiply these things together, right? So 256 times 1.5 becomes what? I'm doing this part right here, everybody, in case you got confused. 256 times 1.5 is what? Let's just put it in Google real quick. And it's a negative 256. So minus 256 is distribution method, by the way, times 1.5. And we get negative 384. So this changes to 384. And don't forget that it's a negative 256. We got to do negative 256 times 0.83y. So let's do that. That's going to be 0 0.83. And we get negative 212.48y, right? Because y is attached to that. So let's clean this up. It's going to be negative 212.48y. It looks better. Let me get rid of this parenthesis right here. Okay, so it's 322. Let me take a moment and get you some of these notes. So here again is the notes that I've done so far. And continue on because we're almost done with this problem, everybody. Like very close. Okay, so here you go. It looks like it cut off the second part. Again, I put it in the chat, but you still need to clean it up and edit it correctly. And here's the next steps. Uh, the ladies or the gentlemen that thought they are done with the problem will be able to present in about seven minutes. I'm almost done with the problem. Get your screens ready and edit it. All right, so what do we do here? Well, we combine like terms, and these are the like terms. The things that have Y attached, right? So those are your like terms right there. But we can combine them as just putting it into Google as well, you know. So let's do that. Now one. And what does this become? That's negative 212, right, plus 15. So equal sign, negative 212.48 plus 15 yields... 97.48 negative. So we'll put that there. See the equation getting smaller and smaller because we're simplifying things. All right, now we have to solve for y and then eventually get our x. So let's finish it off. We're, we're at the finish line. Hand is raised. Who is that? Go ahead, Perry. Can you go back up for a second? Okay. So right here. Yep. Okay, cool. So this is negative three eighty four. I'm gonna bring it to the other side by adding its opposite, positive three eighty four. So it'd be three eighty four. And these two will cancel each other. So these are the changes I'm making to the above equation. But what you do to one side, you got to do to the other, right? So let's do that. And this is red, too. All right. So some things are going to cross out, right? We now end up with these 384s. 384 minus 384 is zero, so that crosses out. And you're going to combine these two. That's going to be negative 6 plus 384. So what is that going to be? So we just say Google. What is that? Say negative 6 plus 384 is, in case you don't know, 378. 
All right, so we can just replace this with 378. And we're going to clean the equation up because we're almost through with it. We get y by itself. Remember, this is now gone. This becomes 0. And if you look at this, you notice that y is still not by itself. We're almost through with it. We got to get y detached. So that's a product. We just do divide because this is a multiplication process, right? So let's do that. So if I come here and grab this, we're going to get negative 197.48 removed from the y. So put parentheses around these. Remember, that's being, a multi that's being multiplied, so we do the opposite, which is division. OK? So let's do that. It's going to show you the changes. So putting parentheses around it, because I'm going to divide everything by what I don't want, which is that 197, right? So divide this by parentheses, this number. And not the y part, just the number, everybody. You want to leave y by itself, so we can go back and find x. Change here. But again, 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 what you do to one side, you got to do to the other. So we're going to take this here. And we're going to put it over here as well. OK. 327, and we're at the finish line. I'm doing great. Hope you guys have been keeping up. I'm going to put these uh, notes in the chat for you, too. So the next thing is to show what crosses out and that number becomes on that fraction there. So this crosses out, right? Strike that out. And also, this part right here is gone because 197 divided by 197 is 1. It crosses itself up by cross cancellation. That's what they call it in mathematics, everybody. And then we got to fix this because what is 378 divided by that negative 197.48? Figure it out by using Google. Let's bring this over and take a look. So we're going to say, hey, Google, what is 378? Make sure you press the equal sign first, everybody. What is 378 divided by negative 197.48? And it tells me it's negative 1.91. So y, in this case, when we clean it up, is going to be equal to negative 1.91. We're so close to the end of this problem. A little time to spare, too, for share outs. All of this is gone, by the way. And all of this is gone. That That's pretty much what you're left with. But you're not done with it because we had a few more steps. We got to. First, put this back into x and find what it is. Put this back into the x above. So I'm just going to bold this because it's one of your order pairs. Now, we're going to come back. Like I said, we're going to use, let me tell you what to do so we can be done with this. And then you got to try the homework problem on your own. So finally, use the above y value to solve for x in equation in a partial solution, I should say. Right. Above. And here's what that looks like. So I'm going to grab that equation that we highlighted a long time ago, and we're going to plug that y in there and be done with this, right? So we come back. And this is that equation I was talking about. So let's grab this. And then I'm going to edit it for you so it looks a little better because no, nobody likes fractions for some reason. And all I'm going to do is put the y we found into the equation and finish it off. So the final answer would be what? Well, if you come here, you know that this was what? 18 divided by 2, that was 1.5, right? And this was, I think, if I remember correctly, 0.83y. Let's go off memory, guys. 
So, turn it off so you can see it. And make it all black. Now, what do we have? And we'll do share outs tomorrow to make sure you guys got this done because I know we're almost out of time. But you got to have these notes because if you don't have a share out, it's just going to give you a flat zero. So please keep up. But when we plug in Y from above, it'll become what? So let's plug it in and finish this problem off. So that Y in parentheses is this Y that we found using substitution method. That's how we can go back and find the final answer. What is that going to be? I promise you this is the end of the problem, you all. People like, we ain't done yet. So let's calculate that. What is it going to be? Our final answer for this. We can go actually into our Google and ask Google what that's going to be. So let's grab this and plug it in by my equal sign and give you the final result. Now, uh, for the homework problem, you can use Math Papa if you feel like this is too hard for you. But I'm at least going to say I got negative 0 0.08. You got the same answer? Yeah. <laughs> that means you just got to turn it in. Okay, so pretty good, pretty good. So you got the order pair of what? What's the order pair, Dajay? Let's see if you know what I'm talking about. Wait, what'd you say? What's the order pair here? Uh, I've got negative 0 0.08 um, and negative 1.91. Thank you. The order pair... You got uh, 45 points, Dajay, because you, you, you got it. Um, so the order pair is usually written as X comma Y, as Dajay was saying, and is, like she just said, in that order, parentheses is how you write it at the final part when you're on the quiz, especially. It's going to be X is, we just calculated that, negative 0 0.0853, right, comma, What's our y value? That was what we used to solve for x. That's going to be negative 1.91. Problem is completely done. All right, so I'm going to grab these last two, few notes. We got about it's 333. Three, three. That's a majestic number, spiritual number. Uh, it is time for questions. If you can scroll up or if you want to share out for points, you can because that's where we're at now. So who? what's your pleasure? Who wants to do that? You ask them who want to share out? Yeah. You want to put the lab in it. You want to put the rest in there? Yeah. Okay. Let me grab what I can. Let me see I where just, I left off. I just need the last part, the final use. Finally use? Okay. Let me grab that. And put that in there. All right. Now, who wants to share out? I'm going to turn the screen on. I need that little top part right there. The, this part here? Yeah, the little top right here. So I'm going to try to put it in there. Try not to get confused of which part goes where, you guys. <laughs> okay, so that's the final part I put in there for Aaliyah. And this is the final, uh, the top part that Mr. Miller was asking about. Make sure you put it in order, everybody, correctly. I'll share out. Okay, go ahead. Uh, wait, who wants to share out first? I think it was, uh, <laughs> who's me? Dajay? Yeah, Dajay Denson Cairo, okay? So go ahead. Let me turn this on. I remember Dajay was asking about that. All yeah, right. Make sure you can share out first. Oh, go ahead, Sinkar. It's, it's on now, though, so I'm going to stop sharing so you guys... Well, no, you guys can share because I want to leave this up so everybody can see what to do. And if you want to see my screen while they're sharing, just dumb tack my screen. It says presentation, Michael Tyler. So it's still showing. Dajay, you're presenting good. Because I want to leave that screen going in case people want to see what's going on. Okay. Okay, and then Sakira's jumping in front of you. <laughs> Dajay, I trust you. Stop sharing. I'll see you tomorrow. Turn it in by 8 okay. p.m. Both parts. All right, Sakira, go ahead again. I think I got No, I think Sakira's still going. No, that's Dajay's screen. Sakira, can you show one more time? Your screen stop. There you go. Okay, can you uh, make your uh, Google Doc bigger so I can see everything? Or Okay. Or, yeah, you got the terms, you got scroll down some. You've been keeping up, yeah. You crossed out your, your Y value though, fix that. <laughs> she crossed it all out. <laughs> okay, keep going. Uh, that's all you got so far? That's pretty good. 
Okay. I'll go next. Go, uh, Sinkara, you good to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Turn everything in, Sinkara. Try both problems tonight. Let me go. Next, Mr. Tyler. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Gray. You got it? Well, there you go. Uh, sideways, Gray. Can you turn your... Oh, that's Leah. She jumped in front of you, bro. <laughs> Aaliyah, don't be playing. Uh, she started on the next prop. Okay. You showing off. All right, just make sure you type up what your order pairs are like I did, Aaliyah, okay? And uh, you're pretty good. You, you, you're awesome. All right. Okay, I see you. Uh, turn it in, Aaliyah, so I can get some, that grade up. Okay. All right. See you later. Uh, who's next? Gray is showing. Turn it sideways. Thank you, sir. Okay, you've been keeping up. I'm proud of you. Not, I just need you to turn your work in, fam. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll see you later. Turn it in, man. Now. Okay, okay. <laughs> you gonna go do something else? Forgetting you, man, Tyler. Don't do me. Turn it in. <laughs> all, right. all right. Who's next? We, we're coming close to the end of class. Who wants to share off with the end of class? Autumn and then Jalen. Okay, so hold on. I see Jalen. One second, Autumn. Okay. Same thing with you. Turn in your work. I think you got all of it. Scroll down some. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So make sure you get the rest of it done. Try it out. Use Math Pop if you can. Turn it in tonight. Turn it into Esby. Same thing with you, Jalen. I don't see you turn this stuff in. Turn it in. All right. I'm not trying to fail nobody, but y'all gotta turn it in. Y'all showing me the work, but y'all not turning it in. I don't understand. Um, Autumn, yep, I was about to ask you to do that. Mm hmm. Oh, so you did it your own way, okay? <laughs> See, I, I know you know how to do this. Bye, Autumn. All right, turn it in, Autumn. Don't forget to name your document, Autumn. <sighs> Goodness gracious, 8 p.m. All right, so I got Miller left and uh, Mr. Perry left. Uh, which it one? Was What's that? What's that last part they got? I don't got that. Oh, okay, give me one minute. I'll put it in the chat for you. So I see Perry. Oh, okay. See Perry just like giving me a hard time, but he's getting some work done. Yeah, uh, yeah. So you got you got to finish it because I don't see nothing. Okay, you got to finish it up, Perry. All right. So take the notes, look at the video again, and finish it up tonight by eight. Okay, everything. Turn it in. I'm about to go to work, so I won't be turned in until late. That's fine. Turn it in, though. All right. I got I got a couple things to catch up with you because I see I got 30. I got to switch that up. Yeah. We'll come tomorrow in class. We have asynchronous, right? So let me uh, right, yeah. finish Help up. Me, like five assignments. Yeah, you know I'm a little slow when it comes to this math stuff. Well, that means every Thursday I should see you, right? All right. <laughs> Bye. Uh, Miller, you said you don't have what part now? Do you see my screen at all or no? Yeah, I see it. I need the uh the last little part. Okay, so you talking about the finally used part? Um oh no, I got everything. Oh, <laughs> oh can, you, can you show your screen, Mr. Mill? You can't show your screen yet, right? We gotta work on that. So uh what what happens when you click on share screen? I'm curious. Um when I press present and press um screen. Oh, wait, it's letting me. Wait. Oh, no. Yeah, it don't let me share it. Okay. I'm going to reach out to Mr. Irvin to see if he can work with you on that. But turn that in if you got everything you think done, all right? All right. All right. You know how to submit it to me. I think you you either emailed it to me or you, you put it in as you wanted it to. You was doing one of them. I need you to do that again. Yeah, I'm going to share it with you right now. Okay. You got my email address? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow, man. That's in the class. Okay. All right. 